Shit my friendly eye and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into building in Planet Zoo. And this is the second habitat in the spring themed section of this North American Taker Zoo. And I'm branching out on the different types of animals for this one too. It's going to be really fun because today I'm doing a llama habitat. I've never actually built anything for the llamas. So I thought it'd be fun to try something different and the llamas are from South and Central America so I thought it's not really going too far away from the American and European mix but I mainly chose the llamas because they are an animal that allows guests to walk through habitats and I wanted to add a restaurant into this area because it's quite close to autumn and autumn doesn't have any restaurants whatsoever. And I also found grapes when I was building the badger habitat and I wanted to make like a vineyard and I thought it'd be really nice for the llamas to be able to walk up and down the vineyard as well. And I'm starting with the vineyard part first. I know there is just like a grapevine piece in the nature tab, but I also wanted to try and make my own too. And I really like how these vines twist around the fence posts. And I knew the nature wouldn't exactly match up to what the llamas liked because they're not from Europe and the grapevines are European plants. I did want to find something that the llamas wouldn't hate <laughs> in their habitat and the bushes laid out vertically like this looked like little trees and some of the reference images that I saw had some very manicured grapevines with little bushes like this so I thought that they would be nice to have along the fence and then putting the little <laughs> grape bunch yeah, bunches, great bunches, why not? <laughs> They're not really the best looking objects in Planet Zoo. And I guess because they are small, it doesn't really matter so much when it's from a distance. They kind of remind me of like Sims food. When the Sim is eating the plate of food, it usually looks fine. But then you look too close at it, it just looks like a very blurry pixelated version of what you thought looked great but from a distance and the amount of grapes that I've got along the bushes is fine but I'm also using the actual grapevine plants too they don't have as much as the vines that I thought they would so it is nice to have a like different style and different shape to the different grapevines maybe they're like different types because this is going to be a vineyard maybe there's different types of grapes to create different wines. I don't know. I'm not an expert in that. And this is just going to be a Planet Zoo habitat, so it doesn't really matter that much either. <laughs> and this is when I get my llamas in and I realised that the habitat was definitely not big enough for the llamas. So I had to play around with that a little bit more as well. But I found another acoustic variation of an animal. I have a acoustic llama now. I used a plank of wood that I used for the fence which was two meters I think so I could have a two meter gap between the two vines and then I put the two two meters next to each other to have the four meters because I think the llamas need at least four meters to be able to go in between the plants. Using the four meter long plank of wood has helped me evenly space out each row of the grapevines but I just needed to make sure that the llamas could actually get around the area and have enough space to wander around and I definitely learned my lesson with the badgers as well I completely forgot to give the badgers any sort of enrichment or food and water none of that so I just made sure that I added in everything straight away. I did try to kind of blend in some of the enrichment items into the vineyard just so it looks like it all fits in nicely together. So this like hanging box food enrichment item 
fit really nicely against the fence. And now on to actually building the restaurant. I wanted it to be kind of like a Mediterranean style restaurant. I wanted it to have kind of like a Spanish sort of influence. So I played around with a few different things. I thought maybe I could have it open with the archways because that's kind of one of the architecture techniques with like Mediterranean builds. But most of my reference images for a Mediterranean restaurant is an interior and the exterior of Mediterranean architecture kind of showed more houses. And I thought, why not do like a house sort of style and make it really small because it's quite small, it might be more accessible to more people if they want to download this too so it fits in better in some other zoos because of the 50s diner that I built that was quite large that was all interior seating as well so it was quite big so this because it's gonna have outdoor seating I didn't really worry about making the building that big you might notice that there's like no door to the tables. Your guests don't actually need a direct path to the table. What they'll do when they go to your restaurant is they'll go to the little window to the kitchen, order their food and teleport to an available table. All you need to do is link the tables to the restaurant, which will be in the restaurant menu. And I usually do that right at the end because if you move around the tables, you delete them, you add more, it's easier just to add all of the tables at the end. But I did notice on a lot of the different buildings and restaurants that I looked at in this Mediterranean style, that blue was a colour used quite a lot in the restaurants. So for my accent colour for this build, I picked blue and lots of different shades of blue. So the chairs are blue and I tried to match in the shade of wood on the fence to the tables, but the fence posts, like the planks of wood, were not flexi colour so I couldn't just grab the same shade as the planks of wood. Again, I really wish we had like a colour picker in game that I could just grab the colour. And I wanted three really long windows at the front of the kitchen. And because I used the plaster walls, I did end up using the Africa pack again. There wasn't really anything smaller from base game, so I ended up using the Africa pack items. And because I'd already used like one thing, I may as well have just carried on with the Africa pack. But I do try to keep them as limited packs as I can, just so they're more accessible if you want to download this from my Steam workshop. And this is kind of going to be the front door, but it's not going to be the entrance to the restaurant. <laughs> Which probably doesn't really make much sense, but because this is going to be the front of the building, like what guests are going to see more once they walk around the habitat, and of course part of the thumbnail, I wanted the front door to be here too. And I just created like a little step to go up to the front door because I didn't want to block off the light blue strip that I had at the bottom. It doesn't necessarily go with the British habitat or the Amsterdam inspired buildings but Mediterranean styles kind of like a Spanish influence it's still European and vineyards are grown in lots of different European countries we also have vineyards in Wales which I really didn't think we did but my grandfather actually got a gift card to visit a vineyard in Swansea, I want to say, for his retirement. So that's the only reason why I would know that there's a vineyard here. I don't drink a lot of wine or anything like that. It's not my favourite thing. I like the cheap and sweet ones. <laughs> so I used the European bunting to create a smaller canopy. It didn't work out perfectly, but the stripes kind of look like what the classic canopy looks like it's just more squared off and to kind of finish off the edges I just turned the square bunting around to kind of line the edge where it's supposed to be attached to a rope I guess because the entrance 
entrance is on the side of the building, like the guests entrance. I thought it'd be nice to add in an extra open window on this side too so the guests can see into the kitchen and the llamas can come up into this area too so then the staff members get to see the llamas too. <laughs> just been really fun to play around with different animals. I'm really looking forward to having a new DLC though. I don't mind using some of the South America DLC animals. It is fun to play around with different animals and not just do base game and whatever DLC is the most recent. I know I am still missing the California sea lion but I just don't know what to do for them without it being just like the sea world. Ugh type habitat. I don't want that. It's not anything wrong with doing that style of habitat. There's something wrong with SeaWorld, definitely, but it's just not really my style and doesn't really go with the theme that I'm going for, like the seasonal theme. Uh, so if you have any ideas for a sea lion habitat, please let me know or any other ideas for any animals that could be spring themed. My justification for the vineyard is that uh, grapes are usually planted from winter to spring to grow ready to be harvested in autumn for wine purposes, I guess, because this one's going to be a, a wine vineyard. <laughs> a vineyard's just for wine or a vineyard's for just growing grapes. Never be afraid to ask stupid questions, people. <laughs> as long as you get an answer, it's not really a stupid question, is it? I wanted to add lots of flowers into spring and I seen this flower pot collection on Steam by Cut3 ZZZ. Z, Z. <laughs> Cute ZZZ, Z, Z, but it's instead of an E, it's a three. It was on like the featured page on the Planet Zoo workshop. There's just so many different variations of potted plants, and they've done quite small ones and bigger ones with different looks to them. I wish I found these before I did the mountaintop restaurant because I used potted hanging plants for that one. But I really like the variations for all the different potted plants and I thought it'd be perfect to grab some of those to add into some of my spring themed builds. So I will link the blueprint for all of these potted plants in the description and for the centre I have built my own little flower window box but I didn't listen to my own tips and I kept it in the group. <laughs> And that's why I always try to recommend the splitting more layered objects like this that you want to duplicate from the main group because it's so hard to duplicate when they are all layered like this and all clustered together because you can't individually click on them and then if you click and drag you end up selecting way too much and then having to click and unselect other things too. It's so much easier starting off as a separate group. Or as they do as they say, not as they do. <laughs> and the barrel is a called Barrel Recolorable by Just Goron. And that'll be linked in the description as well. And I'm using the barrel as like a wine cask. I just thought as like an extra decoration outside and inside of the restaurant that I would add like some wine casks so it feels more like a wine tasting restaurant to add in the link between the restaurant and the vineyard I would add those barrels in as like wine casks and the blueprint is actually separated into two different groups so you can recolor them but to make it easier to duplicate them I just and I also really like the little potted plants with the rope coils thought they were really really cute and nice and small and a nice little touch to add in the center of the tables for that extra detail so the tables don't look absolutely plain 
and I added them on the balcony tables as well. They can be like VIP seating <laughs> right at the top. I wanted to add a few more grapevines along the back edge of this terrain instead of adding like rocks to tie in a bit more with like the grapes and the wine theme. I just add some grapevines along the terrain at the back of the alfresco seating area and I really like the shade of green that the actual grapevines have. They're nice bright green against the mud walls. <laughs> and lastly adding in education boards, bins, benches, all of that. <laughs> and I'm sticking with the tulip education boards. This is just going to be the spring themed education boards for the whole spring area. I know tulips don't really go with wine and grapes but it's just gonna keep the theming consistent along this whole section of the zoo. And for the donation bins I wanted to keep with like the colourful theme. Like the tulips are a very vivid bright rainbow colours. I wanted the donation bins to be pastel rainbow colours because like spring is kind of pastel-y colours like Easter so I wanted like the brightness of like flowers but then pastel accents and yeah that's pretty much it. This was really fun a very different style of habitat. I do enjoy adding in restaurants in the habitats themselves because if you're gonna eat at a restaurant in a zoo you're gonna want to see animals aren't you? This Mediterranean style vineyard restaurant has the llamas, my 50s diner has doll sheep and the modern mountaintop restaurant has the alpine ibex so it doesn't necessarily mean that guests will go to one more than the other I don't think just because they're like closer but the guests do get to experience different animals as they go to different restaurants but yep yeah, on to the pretties now have a closer look at the llama with the lacoustic coat variant I'm really looking forward to seeing whether I can breed any more lacoustic llamas the llama was pretty much the first one with the different coat variations wasn't it I know when we first got the llamas with the South America pack there was just that beige color and it was one of the first ones to get the different coat variations with an update that was a long time ago now, but I have been playing this game since beta release, which you can actually find on my channel if you're interested in that, seeing what the game looked like when we first got it. But I'm going to leave it off there. Let me know what you think of the restaurant and vineyard in the comments and any suggestions for habitat animals, habitat styles, different sort of spring themed builds that you would like to see. Let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed the video smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload speed builds on Wednesdays and short Saturdays for short form vertical planet zoo tutorials. Thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Goodbye!